history at Arc St Albans. I'm Miss Carr and I'm one of the history teachers here and I'm quite likely to be teaching you history when you're in year seven. Today we're going to be looking at the city of Baghdad and see how that will help us answer the question how do we know Islam experienced the golden age? To help this lesson I'm going to be asking you to answer some questions on a Microsoft Forms document so if you've not got that open you need to get it up now. And we're going to start with question one. What's going on in this picture? Take 30 seconds, have a good look. Who are these people? Where are they? What are they doing? And write all of your ideas into the first question. So today we're going to be looking at the city of Baghdad to help us understand how Islam had a golden age. And we're going to start off by locating where Baghdad is and why its location is so important. That big red star on the map is showing us where Baghdad is. And we can see that it's in this big green area. This big green area is called the Fertile Crescent. And it's an area where the land is extremely fertile, meaning it's really easy for farmers to grow lots of crops. And this area was the place where the world's first cities was, were made. You should also be able to see that there's two rivers running through and the smaller map on the right shows these rivers clearer. One of these is called the Euphrates and the other is called the Tigris and these are two very important water sources for Baghdad. So we know that the location of Baghdad was very fertile so there could be lots of crops and it was close to lots of water. This man here at the top is Caliph al-Mansur and he built the first city of Baghdad and we're going to learn a bit more about him now. on the 30th of July 762 AD a great Muslim ruler called Al-Mansur was standing near the river Tigris holding a large brick. He was watched by thousands of people as he laid the brick. The building of the new city had begun. Al-Mansur had dreamed about this city, a famous city with fine palaces and beautiful mosques. It would be his new capital of the Muslim world. It was such a special moment that Al-Mansur had coins made to mark the occasion. Al-Mansur wanted his city to be the perfect circle. So the architects designed a round city with four big gates. Until now, Baghdad had just been a tiny village where people had settled when the Persians, the Persians were ruling. But they had now been conquered by the Muslim Arabs and Al-Mansur was their caliph. Al-Mansur needed to know his city would be the best, so he consulted the royal astrologers. From studying the stars, the astrologers told Al-Mansur that the 30th, the 30th of July 762 at 2 o'clock was exactly the right time to begin building the new city. What you are going to do now, you are going to answer the two questions that are on the slide on the Microsoft form. If there's a multiple choice, so you just need to pick the answer that you think is correct. On this slide, we've got a drawing, a map of al Mansur's city of Baghdad. And we've also got a recent artist's interpretation of what the city would look like if it was still standing. And there's a lot going on in these pictures. The first thing that we can see really clearly is that the city is round, like we just heard. And we can see that there's a moat going around the city and there's four guarded entrances to ensure the city is kept safe. The orange ring that you can see on the map is residential areas, so places where people lived. And the purple ring is government areas and places where the royal children and their servants lived. Right in the centre of the city is the palace and the mosque we can see that there's markets dotted about and the darker area, ar area around the circle is an urbanised area where there's lots of houses and businesses but not within the city's wall and we can also see the river Tigris runs really close to the city. What you are going to do now, you are going to write down three features of al Mansur city of Baghdad on the Microsoft form you have spotted that one of the pictures on the board 
is the picture I showed you right at the beginning. And you might have said a few different things about that picture. You might have said that there's people reading because there's someone holding a book. And you might have said that they're in a library because the background looks like there's lots and lots of books. This drawing and the others on the screen are of the House of Wisdom, a huge, huge library in Baghdad, which contained thousands of books and lots and lots of knowledge, which stretched back all the way to the ancient Greeks. It was the home of many mathematicians and astrologers. And these pictures show us that knowledge was very important to medieval Baghdad. What you are going to do now is read the information on the board about the House of Wisdom and answer the three questions that are on the bottom of the screen and on the Microsoft form. All the answers are in the text, so make sure you're reading really carefully so you can pull the right answers out. I hope you have enjoyed today's history lesson and have enjoyed learning about medieval Baghdad and the House of Wisdom. When you start in September, we are going to learn a lot more about medieval Baghdad and Al-Mansur. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all then.